With our TWL measurements at 302, we are going to start a straight stitch. Insert your guide and your thread underneath the presser foot and lower it into the downward position. And simply add or reduce foot pressure to control the speed of the machine. Once complete, you're going to raise your presser foot in the upward position and you're going to use the inside or built-in cutter provided by your machine to cut any remaining thread. Also, just remember you don't have to push or feed the guide into the machine. It does that for you. The only thing that you have to control is the speed, which is your foot pressure, and then your guide, which are your fingers, your hands. Just take that into account and this will help you along the way through your remaining guides. Now we're going to change our W setting to 3 for our zigzag stitch and make sure you shift the knob down to the zigzag setting. We're going to again place our guide and our thread underneath the presser foot and lower it into the down position. And as we add or release pressure on the foot pedal down below, we are adjusting the speed of the machine to our comfortability. Now initially I was going to cut this part out but I thought it was very important to show you guys because this is life and it happens. Our top thread snagged and broke so we went ahead and re-threaded the machine right in the middle of stitching. And it's simple and easy to do. It's just like you're re-threading the machine from scratch. You still place the thread underneath the presser foot and you continue going as before. Flip it over, let's see how you did. Practice makes perfect. You did great. <laughs>